Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy, and in today's video, we're giving updates on all my basement aquariums. There have been some huge changes lately. Wait, what just happened? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing updates on what happened to the saltwater reef tank, as well as unboxing a brand new cichlid for the fish room. I'm really excited to share all those updates in today's video, so let's dive right in. Okay, so here's my 180 gallon South American cichlid tank. This tank has been running for about a year and a half, although I've had most of these fish here for over three years now. The tank has three severums, a variety of geophagus, and has been doing really well with all these fish nearing their adult size, outside of the Oscar, which has a few more inches still to go. The Oscar is definitely the tank boss, but has been getting along with everyone for the most part. A lot of people ask me how I maintain this tank and keep my water looking crystal clear, and it's pretty simple. All I do is weekly water changes of about 40%. I use the Ciche Ultra Zero pump to drain the tank quick and efficiently, and while I'm doing that, I also scrub down the acrylic with the shower scrubber. A lot of people have asked me about this, so I'll leave a link down in the description if you need it. And then as the tank fills up, I add in my dechlorinator, which is Seachem Prime. Very simple process and that keeps my tank looking extra clear. So looking a little bit closer at a few of these different cichlids, starting with my severums, I currently have three severums here, a turquoise, a red shoulder, and a red spot gold severum. Severums are one of my favorite all-time fish. I love these guys. They are pretty big, but they're not too aggressive. And then I have my chocolate cichlid here who has really grown and is starting to look great. All these fish are pretty big now. This chocolate cichlid is probably eight to nine inches. That kind of gives you a sense of kind of how big the rest of these fish are. The geophagus are well over five inches, probably closer to six, with the severums being around that eight to nine inch mark as well. The bala shark is my only non-cichlid in this aquarium, but I absolutely love it, and he does really well with a lot of different types of cichlids. I also have my electric blue acara, and then as I mentioned before, I have my red spot gold severum, who I nicknamed Big Red, and he is probably my favorite long-term fish I've ever had. But overall, the 180 looks great. There aren't a lot of changes on the horizon. I'm really just letting it grow into its own and see all these fish reach full maturity. And then next we're gonna go into my fish room, which is right behind the 180. This has been recently remodeled and a lot has changed in this room, but I currently have my double rack on the left. I have my 75 gallon cichlid tank on the wall with my quarantine tank right below it. The tank we recently set up in the video we published last week was this 40 breeder here on the double rack. These are Gymnogeophagus terra purpura. They are cold water cichlids and I cannot wait to see them grow over time. They're still really small, but they're already sifting through the sand and as you can see, keeping it spotless. I love just watching that behavior and this is gonna be one of my favorite tanks to watch over time. But the new fish we're gonna be unboxing in this video is going into my 75 gallon aquarium and let's get to that now. Okay, I got my shipment in from Global Fish Co. Let's check out what I got. Got Rambo. Alright, here we go. Here it is. So this is an albino thread finicara, also known as a hecali. Being albino, he has that awesome pop of white color that you don't really get in a cichlid tank, but he also gets some orange coloration that really makes him stand out. I'll probably get him into quarantine for a bit, and then towards the end of the video, we'll flash forward to show him into the tank with the rest of his new tank mates. Okay, so here's a 75 gallon a little bit later with the albino hecali added to this tank. This guy is a stunner and has awesome coloration and is just going to get better over time. As I mentioned, most of these cichlids in the 75 gallon are gonna go into a bigger tank soon and I cannot wait to round out the stocking for that tank very soon.
So the cichlid tanks and the fish room is looking really good. Now it's time to get the update on the saltwater tank. So this is the first saltwater aquarium that I ever set up and it's been running for about a year. One of the main things I wanted to do with this aquarium was to just start learning the saltwater side of the hobby and bring some of you on the channel along with me. So first off, I just wanna say that I really love this tank, the Fiji Cube Aquarium, the full setup that I have here with the rocks and all the corals that are just starting to grow in. I really like the custom lid that I have with the EVAP cover with my logo custom engraved on it. All those things have made this tank really enjoyable to set up and keep over the past year. But my interests have started to change where I just have much more on the freshwater side of things that I want to do in the hobby. There are a lot of different cichlids I want to try out keeping for the first time, a lot of different projects and breeding that I would like to do, and just start doing things more so for me than what I think would be good for the channel. Another main consideration with the saltwater tank is I have spent so much money on different equipment and corals for this tank, and all of that could be worth it to some people if you are really into your saltwater tank and maybe it's your only aquarium and you don't have six other big freshwater tanks. So on top of just the money that I've been shoveling into this aquarium, it's also the time and maintenance. I currently spend the most time on this tank with maintenance, with creating salt water, with water changes, and all of those things are different than my process in my freshwater tanks. So if I had a huge freshwater tank right here, it would actually be way less maintenance and time that I would have to put into that versus what I'm currently putting into a 48 gallon saltwater tank. Again, if this was my only aquarium, I might actually enjoy that maintenance, but right now it's just been a huge hassle and I just don't have the time to keep up with the saltwater tank. At the end of the day, I just wanna focus my efforts on tanks I really wanna keep and be excited about so that I can continue enjoying my hobby over time. So that is why I'm gonna be breaking down this entire saltwater aquarium. Someone's coming to pick this up very soon and it's gonna be in good hands, so all the livestock and corals I feel good about, and I'm really excited for the next step in my own personal hobby. Another thing I've mentioned quite a few times on this channel recently is I have a big custom aquarium coming, and I've been planning to put that in my fish room and tear down the 75 gallon aquarium so that I have room. But after thinking about it a lot, I actually changed my mind and I wanna keep that 75 gallon aquarium as a freshwater tank in my fish room. And so that means the big custom aquarium is gonna be set up right here in the place of the saltwater tank so that it's right around the corner from the 180. I think it's gonna be really cool to have those two freshwater aquariums set up right next to each other on the same corner in the saltwater tank, although I'm sad to see it go. I'm really excited for bigger and better things and the freshwater side. And because a lot of the fish from the 75 gallon aquarium have been planned to go into this upgraded custom aquarium, that means we're gonna have a 75 gallon freshwater tank to restock and reset up. Again, I am very excited for the custom aquarium to come. It should be here in just a couple weeks and it's gonna be set up right here and I can't wait to make a video on it. So watch out for that coming very soon. Hopefully by the end of the next video, I'll have a tank set up right over my shoulder so I don't have an empty spot right behind me on camera. Really looking forward to showing that on the channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.